Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll have an overview about this uh, new laptop from ASUS that is the ASUS uh, Tough uh, F15 gaming uh, laptop and it also comes in 17 inch uh, variant and we'll have a look at uh, this one in fact this comes with the new latest Intel Core i9 processor that's the 11th generation it's actually an 8 core processor with 16 threads and guys before we proceed I want to make it very clear that this video was sponsored by ASUS India but guys no way uh, ASUS had any influence about this video uh, nor I'm following any scripts or I gave them any scripts in fact fact I did my own testing on this laptop and uh, I didn't even uh, give a proof to uh, the brand in fact the brand will be seeing this uh, video at the same time as you guys are going to see it just wanted to make it very clear so now let's uh, have a look at this gaming laptop from ASUS so guys this is the ASUS tough gaming uh, f15 laptop and as i've told you guys this is the 15 inch uh, variant actually it comes with 15.6 inch screen there's also another variant uh, that's uh, a 17 inch that's having a 17.3 inch screen uh, but here we have this one and uh, we have the higher end uh, variant guys that comes with the intel core i9 processor this is the latest 80 uh, 11th generation one that's actually a 8 core a proper 8 core processor with 16 threads we'll look at the benchmarks uh, uh, later on but first let me give you an idea about the laptop top and as you can see uh, this area this bottom area is made up of plastic guys and the back is also plastic but this area is a uh, what do you say uh, alloy and it's metallic in nature and it says tough gaming over here uh, and we have a couple of leads over here so uh, you know what's happening with the laptop and if I go over this side uh, here we have all the main ports of this one we have a 3.5mm headphone jack and we have a type C port guys but this is not actually a regular type C port this is actually Thunderbolt 4 so that's actually really good so you're getting the latest Thunderbolt 4 port on this one then we have two uh, type A ports uh, and we also have a full size HDMI it's actually HDMI uh, 2 and we also have a LAN port that's gigabit and your power brick that's a 200 watt power brick that you get uh, power uh, barrel connector is over here back we have a lot of vents to dissipate the heat and uh, on this end again we have one more vent and one more uh, USB port and back if you go as you can see uh, we have a lot of vents that are open to dissipate the heat again this is also made up of plastic guys uh, but it's a good quality one and uh, if we open the laptop it does not have any fingerprint scanner uh, on this one so you have to rely on windows uh, pin authentication but fortunately we do get a webcam on this one i'll show you the webcam performance later on and guys uh, at the side are the specs of this specific uh, model and uh, this is having the intel core i9 processor and other specs are there uh, here at the side uh, the big thing is it also has the nvidia uh, uh, 3060 graphic card and to give you an idea about the cpu uh, actually the performance of the cpu was very good i ran some benchmarks i'll show you the scores but let uh, let's first look at the cpu itself using the cpu z let me just zoom in so guys as you can see uh, this is having the latest uh, 11th gen intel uh, processor that's the core i9 the model name is 11900h and this is actually a proper 8 core processor with 16 threads this is one of the most powerful intel uh, processors in fact the single core performance is also very good we'll look at it later and if we move toward the caches the l2 cache is 1.25 megabyte but the notice the l3 cache that's a massive 24 megabyte again uh, motherboard is made by asus memory as i've told you this model has 16 gigabytes of ram that's ddr4 clocked at 3200 megahertz but you can expand it up to 32 gb and graphic card obviously intel uh, integrated uh, but the main gpu for gaming is the nvidia uh, geforce rdx 3060 with 6 gigabytes of gddr6 ram now let me do one thing let me actually also show you some of the benchmarks that i ran on this one first i ran this popular uh, cinebench r20 because you can also download it on your machine and get an idea and here i was impressed let me zoom in a little bit and uh, as you can see we got a, a score of 4800 points which is actually really good this is one of the highest that i've seen uh, lately with the intel processor uh, that i've tested so the performance is good uh, and i also ran the r23 uh, which is the new version of this one you again you can and here i was impressed uh, in multi-core we got a massive score 
of let me zoom in and show you of uh, 11,964 points which is very very impressive and uh, even I checked the single uh, uh, core performance that single threaded and here also we got a very good score of uh, uh, 1,583 as you can see on the R3. So that means this processor is very very powerful processor even for heavy use like 3D cam or video editing this will be a very good processor. So that's a good processor that you're getting and uh, let me actually show you. I also ran uh, the Crystal Disk Mark. Uh, this has a one terabyte SSD and I'm very happy to say uh, notice the scores that we are getting 3.3 gigabytes on read and 2.4 gigabytes of write. That means it's a very fast SSD. I've seen a lot of um, gaming laptops lately that hover around 1.5 to about two uh, here we are getting a score of 3.3 so it's a very fast SSD boots it very fast and you also have an extra expansion slot at the side so you can expand and put one more SSD if you want and I also ran PC Mark 10 this gives you an overall uh, idea about uh, the laptop's performance and again here we got a very healthy score of 6911 uh, on PC Mark 10, this is the professional edition, and uh, I also uh, ran 3D Mark to give you an idea. And here again, we got a very healthy score of 7,426. And if I break down, the GPU score is 7,313, and notice the CPU score that is 8,392. Uh, and I also played some games on this one, so let me give you an idea. First, I played Battlefield 5 on this one. And again, as you can see, uh, this is a pretty high graphic and in intensive game. And here, uh, even though there are a lot of uh, things going on the screen, just notice how well it handled. I never had an issue of frame drops or anything on uh, this way game. So it handled this uh, heavy graphic game that's Battlefield 5 without any issues and I also like this game this is overwatch I play it a lot and if you notice this uh, uh, screen has a refresh rate of 144 Hertz so I had set the, that as the maximum FPS on overwatch and easily this laptop was able to hit that maximum refresh rate all the time even at the highest uh, uh, graphic setting that's ultra on this overwatch and as you can see I had a very good experience playing overwatch on this one so definitely for gaming it's a good laptop another thing that I liked is that even while gaming yes the fans ramp up a little bit but it's not too noisy or like a vacuum cleaner like some of the gaming laptops they become very very loud when you are gaming yes the fans ramp up but uh, I feel uh, they have calibrated the fans very well on this laptop even while you are gaming recording this part of the video with integrated webcam on this uh, laptop fortunately it has a webcam but guys again it's a normal 720p webcam so you guys let me know what do you feel about the video quality and the audio is also being recorded via its internal microphone asus claims that it has active noise cancellation i uh, guess the ac is running in the background uh, so you guys let me know what do you feel about the webcam on this laptop so guys what do i think about this uh, laptop i feel uh, the laptop is pretty good and in fact i genuinely i have to say i was impressed with the processor performance of this core i9 from until the 11th generation one in fact as you saw from the benchmark scores the raw pro uh, performance of the uh, cpu was actually really good that surprised me and that reflected overall in the gaming performance also and in the hardcore gaming benchmarks it got some very good scores in fact the single thread score were also very good another thing that I liked about this specific uh, model was that uh, uh, every gaming laptops have very uh, uh, loud fans but here I would say Asus has done a good job in terms of the fan the fan noise was not very very loud like a vacuum cleaner even when I was playing some heavy game so that way it's nice and in fact when you're doing just regular work like this as you can see it hardly makes any noise so that way I feel they have done a good job in terms of battery it has a 90 watt hour battery guys and uh, the battery life will depend upon your usage I expect uh, you should get anywhere between four to about six hours of battery life uh, based on what you are actually doing I also like the screen quality on this one the screen quality is really good and the viewing angles are very nice so nice for watching videos and stuff and I also like the fact that some matte screens so no glare or anything like that on this one another thing is that Microsoft Office is actually preloaded on this one so you get that word Excel etc it's licensed one that you are getting preloaded on this 
laptop. I like the keyboard on this one, uh, not the RGB uh, lighting, I guess you can change that. But the actual key travel was actually really good on this uh, laptop. And I also like the fact that uh, you can actually expand the RAM. You can just open this back and actually uh, swap uh, out the RAM stick. You can add up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And in fact, you, uh, we also have an empty one more SSD slot. So yes, this model comes with one terabyte of SSD, but you can add even more storage with that uh, extra slot that you have. So I feel in expansion also they have done a good job. Now moving to some of the things that I do not like with this laptop is first, the speakers are good guys, don't get me wrong. It's not like the speakers were bad or anything, but I felt that, that the speakers could have been louder on this laptop. This is general thing that I've noticed with most of the Windows laptop. And another thing is that uh, this laptop again omits the fingerprint scanner. I don't know why in gaming laptops, many of the gaming laptops, we simply don't have a fingerprint scanner. So we don't have a fingerprint scanner even on uh, this one. Uh, and I would say uh, you can definitely go for this uh, laptop. It's a good gaming laptop. The entry level variant starts at about 1 lakh 5,000 or something like that. I'll have the exact pricing over here. Uh, but the variant that I tested in this video, this is the higher end variant that comes with the Intel Core i9 processor. This is almost 1 lakh 39, closer to 1 lakh 40,000. I'll have the exact pricing here. Uh, and I would say uh, the normal variant is good enough if you're a normal sort of a user and just sort of a gamer. Uh, but if you are a serious professional who does hardcore work like, uh, what do you say, uh, 3D uh, modeling or, sub or CAD cam work or even very video heavy video editing, then you can have a look at the Core i9 variant because uh, as you saw, it comes with the proper 8 core processor and 60 thread. So for heavy tasks, if you're that kind of a person who always pushes your CPU, then you can offer the Core i9 variant. What I'll do is guys, uh, I noticed that this uh, specific uh, variants are available online on Amazon. So I'll leave the link of Amazon and also some exclusive ASUS stores in the description so that you can check it out. Anyways guys, that's it for now for this video. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranji, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care guys.